What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And today, I think I got a classic interview for you. A lot of people always say, True, can you get us some of the newest drill stars in the game in front of that camera? Today, I think I was lucky enough to get that opportunity. Now, for the people who don't know what's going on, you will let them know exactly what your name is and where you're from, bro. I'm on the IQ, man. Voice of the O, man. I'm from O Block, 64th of King Drive. Uh, most definitely. Now, you know, I we can't go too far now without, you know, kind of pinpointing some things. You said O Block, 64th. All right. You know, that's the Parkway Gardens, the place we all hear about in Chicago. For sure. Was it dangerous for you growing up out there? Because, you know, the internet make it look like a young man your age is going to have a difficulty moving out there. No, not really. It's just shit. Like I said, like all my other interviews and shit. If you ask me, it was normal. That was like the, a normal childhood to me. It just like we like we grew up. We weren't playing the parks and shit like that though. Like we come yeah. play in our park and shit like that. So we was on some basically having to grow up faster. Like so like if you like six, you you gotta grow up like fast as hell. Like right. it ain't no just being no out there just lollygagging and all that. You gotta grow up. You know, you said six. That mean you've been like you like uh one of the ones that grew up out there. Yeah, I've been uh I moved on the block in two thousand five. Uh, I've been there ever since though. Okay. Um, it wasn't always like the rap mecca. This was like a normal place. This wasn't yeah. always rap. It's like yeah, it wasn't rap all the time. Yeah. I think. Do you Those recall when that happened? You were sleeping, just woke up, and all the cameras was out there and shit. Nah, this when I was like six. This <laughs> when it happened, like when Sosa started going up and shit. For sure. That's when it happened for real. Yeah. Like, I started seeing shit change a lot. Neighborhood all on TV yeah. and all kind of shit like that. Are you aware that every time somebody from that neighborhood go live, the whole world be running to their phones to watch the live? Yeah, they do it to me. So I know they yeah, they do it to they do it to my homies too, like uh -huh. screen recording our lives and shit like that. Like yeah, they do that all the time. Is that weird though? Yeah, it's, I, I always say it weird, like I ain't gonna lie, like, this one nigga I ain't gonna this nigga, what's his name? The long way, folks, right. got me one time. So he just he went screen recording the lives and shit. I right. asked to take it down. The nigga ain't take it down. None of that. Right. Hard right, saying shit on them lives. Them things getting picked up, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Is it weird that people want to visit out there? You know, I see a lot of people be crying and shit. They see old block. Yeah, it was a little dude that came on the block. He was crying. Said, uh, weird. I don't know. Yeah. It is weird because, like, why? I don't know how it. So I think like the way we live is like it's like a movie to people that ain't never right. experienced no shit like that. So they think they look at it different from how we can look at it. Right. You know what? That make a lot of sense. Um, you know, I don't want to front now. You right. know, they know you on Truth Tell the TV. You know, I got a book with some questions in my hand. I kind of want to start with you. Right. Um, you graduated high school. I see that trended all on the internet. I even did a video about that. I right, yeah, look. I graduated in June. Okay. That was just my that was for my eight my uh high school pictures and shit, but I go on prom and shit like Okay. All in June and shit. But yeah. All I'm right, grad, but we I'm graduating for sure, that. yeah, for okay. sure I'm graduating. Most definitely. I'm gonna get my OG that diploma, that's what she wants. That's all she says she wants, so shit. And you know that go with my follow up question. The reason I asked you that is because you know, I was born in Chicago, you right. know, but I moved away, I want to say about 10, 11 years ago. So this is a whole nother place, okay? All right. Um, what's it like growing up, going to a Chicago high school, being from Oakland? I, I would think you targeted me personally, I, but not. I'm going to ask you this. What was it like for you growing up? You know, I was just a regular Joe, though, going out. Like I'm saying, like, like what? Like, like it when you ain't, like, it was just regular for you. Right. All right, so for me, it was regular too, cause really like, like how you say targeted. I don't want to say targeted, cause really, shit, we was going to school and shit. My father was everybody wanted to be cool with us. If you ask me, so my right. father ain't want to be in tour with us, cause like they know, like, so yeah, I ain't, I ain't never feel targeted and shit. Like we was. But people knew you were from O Block going yeah. to that school. Yeah, for sure. All right. Yeah, the whole the school, even like the day they used to call it, like they used to tell us, like we when uh. We'd get in trouble as a group, they'd come, O Block did. Woo, woo. Right. So, yeah. 
Or they know like, like we need him going from that school because he he with them like all types like that. You know, give me a little inside look now, though, Mama. You know, we gonna be honest now. It was the hoes all on you because you're from the old the niggas hating. You know, yeah. niggas scared. Like, how did this go a little bit? Did the old hold a little weight by going in these high schools and shit? I ain't gonna lie, I think, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like if you from the, uh, anybody from our block, shit, yeah, of course you gonna hold weight just with where you from. Right. Yeah, like we, I feel like we hold weight in, our, in the school we was in, cause nope, right. really, like I said, everybody want to be cool with us, so hey, we really ain't have, yeah, we had problems from like, little, little people that, that was like, on some, trying to get a tour just to have a, think they own something, like, right. trying to impress somebody, but, yeah, like, damn, right. yeah, we just, we just decent, that. though. Most definitely. Um, you know, another thing I'm gonna ask you yeah. that I think is tough, um, I wanna know this, you know, because I, I think this is very intriguing, because the internet has picked up a lot of videos from your community mm -hmm. and a lot of videos from other communities like St. Lawrence and other neighborhoods. I don't really want to just jump into that. But what I'm saying is, do Ike, Mama, you know, because your face is starting to stand out. Yeah. Are you inheriting some of them beasts from the older old block ends? Or yeah, are man. you fresh out of that? I ain't inheriting shit. I, never, shit. I don't pay niggas no attention, so I be in my own lane. Me and my homie, we be in our own lane. Uh, my whole crowd, like my homie G Nub, Monomari, Ty, all of us, we be in our own lane. We chasing one thing, that's a bag. And we trying to, we right. trying to go up for real, for real. Like, all, like, phone going crazy right now. Like, shoebox, he going crazy. Oh, definitely. Everybody going crazy. Duke going crazy right now. Yeah, oh, like, definitely. Vaughn still going crazy. Mm. So we really all just chasing. We chasing money, man. We ain't. I don't think about. I don't think about no. I don't think about none of that, y'all. Because I don't either. Mm -hmm. That was before my time. That's why I'm going to say. But you know, it's shit on the yeah. internet. That's why I asked you that. I want to be transparent with the fans, you know. Uh, Ike, I get a lot of support on the internet. So I like to reward them by being tough with the person in front of their lens. You know? Right. So I wanted to know, you know, because I see shit on the internet. And I'm just hoping don't none of that jump on money. You know what I'm saying? Right. Most definitely. Uh, now, I don't be running into none though. I don't be having no problems. I don't even. Like, don't nobody say nothing to me. I don't say nothing to nobody. I'll stay in my lane. You aware that you got a face card though? Yeah, for sure. Okay. I know I got to stay. I'll, be, I'll stay safe everywhere I go. I don't, you know, I'll be out. I can't be just. Right. You know. Most definitely. Um, you know, you said King Von. I'm going to ask you a question about Von. I don't want to make this a Von interview, but I do want to ask you a question about Von since you said. You know, you've been in that neighborhood for a long time. You seen him before he was the King Von. We all know. Yeah, like, for you sure. seen that. That's yeah, inspiring yeah. watching him get to where he got. Sure, it was. Sure, it was wrong with me. Regardless, like even though, like even though you will see, like before the fame shit, Von was Von. So even when, like when he started rapping shit, it just it just made everything like look way better, like look way raw and shit like that. But. Shit, I, I was still amazed and shit. Like, right. of shit. like I still be amazed to this day. I just be like, damn, folks are just raw as hell. Still raw as hell. You know, that's the last question I want to ask about him. I don't think I heard nobody ever ask nobody this. And it's a lot of interviews I done seen coming out of Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Did Bond know he was famous like that? Did you guys look at him like, did you guys just look at him as like regular bro? Did you guys realize he was becoming like King of Dream? Not even Drill, he was crossing over. Like yeah. he was becoming like Coming into in the lot industry. Of, yeah, like, like, wow. like you somebody find some rapping and shit. Did y'all realize that or did you just look at yeah, it? Like, I, real, I, know, I knew I knew it when I, I <laughs> when I first heard Crazy Story before it even dropped, I knew what was finna go. Matter of fact, problems. I like the problems, so I just as when problems drop, I think right. like my freshman year he dropped Crazy Story. That shit was just going up because I was just seeing how everybody was just like it was my fuckers trying to impersonate him before he even got big as he was. Like, right. That shit was wrong to me, so yeah. Okay, the impersonate last one. I said I won't go ahead no more, but uh -huh. you said the impersonate. You do, do y'all see the internet? How people, the new, some new rappers, they rap, move their arms like Vine. And yeah, I be seeing like, all that yeah. dancing. Oh, uh, yeah, dancing. I see that. Yeah, I um, Shit, a lot of rappers, like, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I could tell Vine inspired a lot of rappers. Right. For sure. Because he inspired me, for sure. I ain't gonna lie. Mm, I wanted to know that. Um, Another thing I want to know: What's the hardest joint you ever broke? Cause you got a lot of joints on there. I think you kind of got like a a drill mixed with like a ride wave. 
it was like melodic, like, because yeah. I can sing too. So, shit, the hardest thing I think I wrote was, see, I don't really be writing no more. So, the hardest thing I could say out that I wrote was, until we meet again. Until we meet again. And that, but like, freestyle, so I like, because I freestyle now. So, I got a okay. song called. Uh, I'll say you wrote that? Yeah, until we meet okay. again. I wrote that. Oh. And then I was in Atlanta when I wrote that. Okay. I wrote the hook. I freestyled the verses, though. So, okay. The uh, two verses, I freestyled, but. This song, it's a song called Angel that I, it's unreleased. Okay. I feel like that bitch, I ain't write it, but it's, it's off the top. So, so that's like, the one you think? Yeah, that one. Then. What's that oh, It's on, um, shit was just really just, I was just saying like, I feel like to lose all, lose everything. Like, mm -hmm. like my back against the wall and shit like that. Like losing my homies and shit, my auntie dying. Mm -hmm. It was basically, I was just saying how I felt. Then I got another song called Love Lost. I made that in October, that bitch. That's raw as hell. Like it was on some. I'm trying to have the whole hood out for that video, so that was gonna be raw. Y'all like that, uh, for sure. So um, I don't really hear this record from you. You're not in there. You know yeah, I don't, I don't this. I, don't, I just feel like it, it don't be no point of this. And like if I want to this, I this. But it's like shit. This and ain't go real. I, don't, I feel like the motherfuckers who was like the the. All right, so I'm gonna say when drill started, it's only to me it's like only like three motherfuckers that made it fall off drill off this and that shit. Right. And shit that really shit Sosa, Dirt, her made it for sure. Her made it. Like they the only ones like from that starting the drill scene. They the only one that I feel like they up with it. Like, like they 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 oh like they top or not they top not right. for sure. So I feel like it don't be no point of doing drill rap no more. Like some people like that though. Like. Like out of town people and shit like they like that like he and niggas talk about dead people and shit like that but yeah. really I just feel like you won't own you won't get nowhere with that shit for real like you gotta have something different like I be trying to bring something different you know uh, you know what you saying that you know that's good because I think I got a question I think they're strong and you know a lot of people look up to you uh, and listen to your music I, I want to know something though. Cause it's a lot of people from old block who have been like legends in the drill rap game. And you know, it's a few that has like passed away, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, how do you feel when you hear a song that's dissing somebody you know that passed away? Is that is that really weird? Cause that never, I mean, I never heard a song of nobody dissing like my dead cousin or nothing. Is that, that's tormented, that's weird. Yeah, it just shit. That's just what people do for attention, though. Like, I, yeah, it be weird. Like, I be getting mad. I ain't gonna lie, but it shit, ain't nothing I can do about it. Cause shit, it's just a song is a song. I just, yeah, I do hate when like when people be dissing my homies and shit, though. But I don't really, I don't show it though for real. Like, I don't never say nothing. Right. Like, you don't see me going live saying like this and niggas. None of that. I don't do it. Right. Ain't no point. I'm trying to win and shit. They on that. I'm trying to win, win. Like they on. Some, uh. They don't even know, like, they don't <laughs> kind of win-win. I'm going right. to get my revenge in another way. Like, uh. I'm talking about, like, get my revenge, chasing M's, getting M's. And the niggas that's this, and they feel like, don't get nowhere near where I'm going to be. Right. Like, I'm trying. That's so. a good mindset on though. Um, now, I want to be honest with you, you know, I put your name in my storyboard for about five minutes, man, and I took it off fast. You know, I didn't tag you. I was praying you didn't see it, and I do this a few times. I got one question real quick in it, because I took it out fast. Mm -hmm. I got one question in there real quick, sure. and it asked me to ask you the one question I seen. Yeah. It says, ask them about Zell Mana. And I see you got a song called Dark Stage. I want to ask you live Zell Mana. Long live Zell Mana. I want to ask you this question about him. Not to get too deep in it and not to get too policey, but uh, it's a lot of love for him. I see a lot of videos on YouTube about him. A lot of people was upset when the news broke that he passed away. Where all that love came from with him? Zell was there, Zell. Like, if you ain't love Zell, we don't know what the fuck he was going like. Cause mm -hmm. Zell was Zell. Like, Zell loved all his people. Like, Zell was motherfucker. He wanted, like, Zell loved everybody. Zell helping everybody. He'll help everybody out. Like, he don't get no fuck who you is. Like, he'll help you. Zell, Zell was righteous. So, and then, I, 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 if you right, I'm with you. So, right. Zell was righteous. Like, he always, like, he he was talking righteous to others. Like, he ain't never told me nothing, told me to do nothing wrong or nothing like that. And I've been on Zell since I was like five years old. Like, so I was, we was little kids for real. I was always younger than him, though. But, yeah, Zell, my boy. Everybody loves Zell, though. Zell just. 
don't know. Without Zell, I feel like without Zell, Zell want play the part so we're like, the block won't be as tight without Zell, for real. Because right. everybody knows Zell. Right? He was like a glue. Yeah, for sure. Like, he kept shit together. Shit, that's my boy. He's young. Young as a tar Young as a charge, for real, for real. Right. He wasn't a rapper, though. But I, I, somebody told me he was a rapper, but I didn't know he was uh, a rapper. He wasn't no rapper, but he was. He, he made, yeah, he got songs out of shit. Him, oh, okay. yeah, he did got songs. Yeah, they got, they got a song and shit. Okay. That bitch raw, though. Oh, my boy. I folks got unreleased and everything. Folks raw. He ain't no, he wasn't no rapper, like, taking this shit for real. But Zell, that was my boy. Zell was a real nigga, for real, like. Right. For sure. Folks, That's real. Yeah. I appreciate you asking you that, man. I got a few more questions. I ain't gonna hold you too long now, but I do want to ask you. You know, I got you in here, man. The young people watch this, and I think they'll listen to you better than me. Right. I kind of want to know a little bit more about Chicago, because I be hearing some crazy things. Like, it'd be 700, 800 people dying out here. Yeah. yeah. Why, though? Where did, where, where did aggression come from? Where did anger come from? Shit, I don't even like know. Like money? Shit. Chicago, damn. I feel like it be <laughs> the murders be coming from it's either you ain't staying in your lane, somebody just want to have a name out here so they go do anything to anybody. So you, it's either it's money problems you ain't staying in your lane. Somebody want to just do something just to be doing it, or it's just shit gangs all that shit like that. But yeah, I got. Now I do want to say one thing though. It's just uh. I want to say rest in peace to my Her name Maisha Jackson. She, she just get she just died recently. Um, on some, it was some petty shit though. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I want to say rest in peace to her. Shit, like I was, yeah, though, I knew her though. Like I met her when I was like in sixth grade. And shit, like me and her brother, that was my homie and shit, man. Mm -hmm. Sure though, yeah. I I just feel like, shit, I just feel like that one for her for real. Like, cause she wanna know, like she was. I felt like to me, I felt like she was a good person. Shit, like they say. She had straight A's in school and shit like that. Wow. For sure. I feel like she ain't deserve that shit. That went far. Do you ever get used to this type of stuff, though? You know, you ever get used to, you know, to the losing people and shit like that? Because, I mean, it's a lot of rappers. I mean, and honestly, everybody got their own shit going on. But, you know, people watch you guys. And I hope I'm not saying this in a disrespectful way. And I hope people right. get upset. But people watch you guys' neighborhood like a movie. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And you one of the characters in it, man. Not to say it like right, that, right, but right, I mean, right. like, yeah, I know. You know, like you got all you guys, people watching. You got, shit, got I don't, fans. Shit, I've been getting tired of losing people. I don't really. It be to the point now to like, I hear somebody die, like, like, shit. I just be like, on some, damn, like, what, what now? Like, what's next? But shit, I be like, shit, I will block. We lost so many people. They like, my fuck ain't even cry no more for real. All you could do now is just. Want better for yourself or try to do something good to make yourself look good. For sure. Independent major. Mm hmm Independent or major. What's uh, what's your mindset on it? Right now, independent. I'm trying to People say that. See, I'm I'm independent, but I'm I'm trying to like me and my manager, we working on some shit like that. We think we're gonna big like in a few in a few years. Like so independent, but right but I'm trying to build my own shit though. Okay. For sure. Like we like Trying to be a lot of own shit for sure. Right. But if a major did contact you, you willing to get their ears out and listen? Oh, yeah. So okay. I always talk to little, to, to uh, labels and shit like that. Uh -huh. I'll just be telling them, I'm going to call them back and shit, though. All right, we talk here and now and shit like, you know, I'll be talking to them sometimes. And I think you're going to take off, bro. Your music got a different sound to it. I think it's dope, man. Uh, any advice for upcoming artists? What would you tell the upcoming artists in this shit that bumped into you on the street? They never dropped anything in their life, but they made a decision they want to rap. What's one of the first things you gonna tell? Shit, stay in your lane, bro. Stay in your lane. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna say it like lane. this. Stay in your lane. Don't try to be something you not for real. Don't don't follow behind the wrong motherfuckers and don't be too quick to sign. That's how I'm gonna say. I'll be I'll be my own lane and shit like don't. But upcoming rappers, like to some upcoming rappers, I know a few upcoming rappers that ain't never dropped a song. But no, I'm gonna say it like this: How my manager told me, it's a thousand people that's waiting to be heard that could be way better than you. So just take the chance you got, like your chance you got to take it. Like don't don't uh, give it up. Good advice, manager. For sure. Uh, 
feature friendly. Somebody can call you up for a feature. Like a Chicago rapper. Mm. Anybody, anybody want anybody. See, want I like, I sound. like, I like Chicago rappers. I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with uh, Fly. You know Fly Naria. Yeah. Foes raw. That's my I think boy. He yeah, folks decent shit. My homie G Nook. Oh yeah, my I homie. Think he G Nook, T Y Monomari, they decent. Monomari. Mono Dope. Yeah. Bob, shoe box. Shoe box. Shit, uh, but not from my hood, uh, yeah. Flat Nari, folks decent. Yeah. What about another artist that's not from your neighborhood? They want that sound on their record. They mm -hmm. willing to pay for the feature. Sure, it's just like some right. artists I don't even be caring about the money because this shit, we gonna work, we gonna work, we gonna yeah. So we both trying to get to the top, so like, why not help each other do it? Good man, sir. For sure. So you is willing to help an artist out in this shit? For sure. Mm. What's on your social media? Does artists want to get up with shit, you? Shit, um, Instagram, Ike, I-K-E-E -E dot Mana, M-U-N-N-A underscore. So that's really all I be on. I don't be on Facebook and shit like that. What about YouTube? Got a YouTube channel? Oh, yeah, YouTube, Mana Ike, M-U-N-N-A space I-K-E-E. -E. Okay, because he be dropping a lot of videos on that channel too, and he dropped them unexpected, so y'all gotta subscribe to that channel For sure. immediately. What's that channel called again? Um, Mana Ike. Okay, on YouTube, right? Yep. Okay, and your social media, what again? Ike dot Mana underscore. Uh, most definitely. Mana, I appreciate you coming through and letting me speak with you, man. For sure. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Brit, 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 brit.